What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back in Nimbasa City, I believe, I think. And in the last episode, we defeated the Electric Gym over here in the freaking craziness that is an amusement park. And in this episode, we're going to wander around town just a bit. We're afraid to go into any of these buildings up here because they might have more musical crap. But I've been told that I should explore the other buildings in town because there are trainers that want to fight me. People say shiny Pokemon look like they're gleaming when they come out of the grass. Ooh. Shiny Kokorok! I wonder what colors they are. Ooh, is that a, um... It is. It's like a Sandile evolution. Hello? Does anyone here want to fight me? When Pokemon evolves, it gets stronger. I'm telling you tutorials at this point, the game is virtually pointless. Alright. There's a bunch of normal NPCs in this house. Maybe I'm looking in the wrong buildings. Maybe I'm supposed to go in the crazy ones at the top. Have you seen the musical? My own Pokemon up on the stage. That's undescribable. No one cares. Do 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 do. What you guys want to fight? Want to fight? Oh, oh my! Your Plipitoad seems to like you. That's so nice to see. It makes me want to give you this. We got a soothe bell. It. Pokemon holds it, it will become more friendly to you. That's kind of useless. In the small court, you can find games of basketball and tennis. Thank you. Why aren't you, why aren't you saying things like, Hey, why are you in my house? Who are you? Or, Oh God, burglar. Someone called the police. There's a weird girl with Pokemon here. Alright, I'll explore one of these little stadiums. Or, big stadiums. Hello! Football players are practicing in the big stadium now. People can watch them practicing. Alright. That sounds fun. You're put in a prominent location. I'm raising the same Pokemon as my favorite athlete. That's weird. Why did I put football in here? I can't see down to the bottom. Wanna fight me? We can tell how good these professionals are just by watching them practice. Cool. Oh, can I go down there? Looks like I can. Run around. Oh, hey. Oh, there's a thing in the way. I don't have the HM to remove traffic barriers yet. Dang. Well, nothing to do here. Um... What is this thing? Hello! <laughs> Beam me up, Scotty! Oh god. You guys want to fight, don't you? No? Yes, he does! POWER! UNLIMITED POWER! Power is essential for both Pokémon and football. Yes! Alright, now i found some battles. Sweet. All right. Oh, look at him. He's in the, uh, I'm about to tackle you to shit pose. I don't know, stance? Ah, Darumaka. That's a Pokemon that makes sense for, um, a freaking, uh, an athlete. It's a very offensive physical Pokemon. All right, let's see what we got. Muddy water it is. So I still have Poppetoad in the lead with Archon holding the experience share. That's how we're splitting up the work right now. Let's send in Timber. Will you switch your Pokemon? Sure, Archon will get super effective. Why not? And I like to actually put him out in front rather than having him sit in my pants collecting experience second hand. That was a weird expression. Pluck! Nice. We're fighting Pokemon that are pretty much our level, but we're still one-shotting them because we have super critical attacks. Super. Super critical friggin'. Ah! How about you? Oh, you're a goal post. Alright. Um, oh god. Ah! Do you all want to fight? Do any of you want to fight? I guess not. That one guy did. I like the holographic football field. You dudes want to fight, don't you? The ball using football is oval shaped and hard to throw. Once you get the hang of it, you can throw it perfectly. I'm a great secret weapon of weapons. so secret that I've never been in the game. <laughs> Lame. Sorry, dude. Bodies crashing into other bodies. Ugh. Oh boy. That's what he likes to see. Final chicken brown man. Apparently just one dude in here wants to fight me. Very strange. I don't know what's going on there. Do you kids want to fight? When I throw a Pokeball, I copy the flowing form of a quarterback. Sure you do. I make these videos hell for myself to edit because I constantly read the text after it's scrolled off the screen already. It's ridiculous. It's actually not out of sync, I just read it really slow. If you speak to athletes during a practice, they may challenge you to a Pokemon! Freeing Pokemon! Freeing battle Pokemon. You want to fight, don't you? Huh. 
Holographic basketball. This is weird. I'm still a rookie, but someday I'll be a great player. Sure, you're gonna improve by playing Pokemon battles. Alright. That's not really how it works. Ah, oh, the basketball's colored like a Pokeball. Wow. Oh, a hoopster, Bobby. Oh, I thought it said hipster at first, and I was like, what? Whoa. Whirlipede. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bet a rock type for this one. So hopefully. Whoa, I missed. Oh, rock and bug, maybe? Hmm. Either way, it's not pretty. Not, not that effective against me. Oh, not a rock type, then. Huh. I wonder. Let's try Mudshot. Yeah, I don't know what type that Pokemon was, but whatever it was, I didn't really interface with it. My my types didn't interact with its types very much. Ah, oh, I missed the rebound, yeah, you suck! Alright, what about over here? You guys wanna fight? A fight against your opponent can end in the blink of an eye. The important thing is how much you prepare for. Alright, you don't need more fight. Maybe I grew tall because... Alright, I don't get it. Uh, just one dude, really? That's it? I don't get it. I don't understand. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, leave then, because... You guys told me to explore the buildings. I'm not seeing a whole lot around here. I guess I can just go ahead and go. I believe Alessa said she was going to open a new way for us. What does that mean? Hello, you have different colors. I wonder who writes the news on the bulletin board. It's probably Big Brother. Let's see if the garbage can has anything in it. Ah, oh, I knew it! You guys told me to try and use this... ...machine, or whatever it is. Can I...? Ah, oh, I can register more than one thing. You guys told me that, too. Yeah, look at that! Alright, let's do it. How do I... I don't know how to use it. Oops, do I need to get my stylus out? Do I need to use the mouse? Is that what I'm saying? Let's see. Oh, I'm clicking on things, something's happening. Alright. Let's see. Oh! It's a battle! Shh, Maple, I almost read his name. You've got a bolt badge. I've got a bolt badge. Let's test who's stronger. Oh boy. Maybe I should have healed up. Oh well. I don't think this would be a problem. Let's see if I'm underleveled yet. That's what happens, I overlevel and then I like skip so many battles I end up underleveled. That looks like we're right on par. It's good with me. No one can defeat my wiggle. Actually, Palpatoad is probably still overleveled, but whatever. Take out! Man! What a jerk. And pursuit. Just like that electric jet, everybody knows pursuit, man, it's weird. BAM! I see. I'm surprised you chose that. What? Why would you be surprised? It did loads of damage, man. Come on. Get on my level. Kabam! Sweet! One out of four. Archon level 27. How to send a pan sage as the fire type. Will you switch? Nope. No wait. That's grass type. Shit. What am I doing? Well, you know what? My other type's a, a rock type anyway, so... Ugh, I guess I would be better off switching. What else have I got in here? Uh, <laughs> who else have I got in my pants that can come out and help me? Curdy, you're, you're still useful. You haven't gotten old yet. Intimidated! Yeah! Fear my hurtier! Alright, let's see what we got. Let's take him down. Shall we? We shall. Wow! I did quite a bit of damage. Wow. One more hurtier! You can do it! He's not gonna kill himself with the recoil. Oh, I missed! Crap! Alright, I'm gonna throw a fresh water down on him then. Cause I can! Yeah! Oh, he knows bite too, weird. Hang on. Let's actually do tackle, I think that'll finish him off. We'll do this recoil damage. Hopefully. Yes! Alright! Sweet! Archon gained 200 points. Obviously got 85. I don't know how those got split up, but alright. 
and then Tranquil. What the heck was Tranquil? We'll just keep Curdy around just to see what's going on here. Oh, it's the bird! It's the Piddos of all form. Alright. It's fine with me. I'll take it down. Ooh, quick attack. Not, it's not very effective at this level, but whatever. Whoa! Critical hit! Sweet! And I killed myself with the recoil. <laughs> Archon gets the experience. Okay. Alright, Archon. Well, actually, wait, what's the next one? His fire type, right? Archon can take care of him. Actually, wait, he's fighting too now, isn't he? Ooh. I guess it doesn't. That's interesting. You see, because I've got a flying type move that does double his fighting, but his fighting does double to my rock. Hmm. Let's see how this goes. Okay, he doesn't have very much defense, or special defense, whichever pluck is. Ah, oh, stole it, ate the berry! <laughs> How you like that? Well, you are strong as usual. Yeah, as expected, I was victorious. Why? Why can't I beat you? Because you suck! Hey, it's that girl with the weird hair thing. Oh, you two are friends. That's nice. How you're helping each other get better by beating each other up. Alright, let's go! Hut, two, three, four. Hut, two, three, four. No, oh, there's the guy with Super Saiyan hair up there. What the heck's he doing? Oh, why, if it isn't Alesa! Oh, the music changed. What the heck kind of music is this? I have no idea what tone I'm supposed to get from this music. Art festival's grand! Life should be enjoyed! Who is this dude? This is Alder, the Unova region's champ- the, the champion has- what? He looks like a goofy tourist! Champion? Oh yeah, Sharon's surprised too. <laughs> Why would the champion be goofing off here? <laughs> I heard that remark. You're quite a judgmental young person, are you not? Who says young person? My name is Alder. I'm the Univo, Univo Pokemon League's champion. Pleased to make your acquaintance. For your information, I'm not goofing off. I'm on a voyage. I think to be on a voyage, you have to go by sea, my friend. I know every corner of Unova. Um, I'm Sharon. I'm from Nuvema Town, and I'm not impressed. My goal as a trainer is to become the champion. So basically, I want your job. Traveling with a goal in mind is a commendable thing. And what do you plan to do after becoming the champion? Uh, uh, uh. What else is there? What else is there? What else is there? <laughs> he couldn't have given a worse answer. The strongest trainer. That's the champion. Hmm, becoming stronger. Becoming stronger, you say? Is there an echo in here? Is there an echo in here? It's not that I'm trying to say your way of thinking is wrong. It's just that you're an idiot. In my travels, I've helped many people learn to love Pokemon. I think that's important, too. You have to love your Pokemon, because otherwise they're just dogfighting tools. Hello, kids. Meh. <laughs> yeah. Sharon, you're fully healed Maple's Pokemon. What? Are we battling these kids? I wasn't actually reading the text. <laughs> I don't know if you could tell, but I <laughs> Challenged by preschoolers. Hooray, it's our first double battle, isn't it? No, wait, we had one with a couple grunts earlier, I think, but. Okay, wow, well, they have the same Pokemon. That's kind of lame. Wow, we throw in perfect unison. That's interesting. Intimidated! Wow, oh, Leapfrog doesn't have. Well, I guess it, it has enough health for level 24 Pokemon. Whatever. Are we gonna get intimidated by both of them? No. Okay, good. Fight! Earth, muddy water will strike them both. Yes, awesome. Another fake out. <laughs> Jerky little moves. Bam. That's one. I think the other one. I, did I miss the other one? Is that what I saw? I think I split the text kind of fast, but yeah, I did. I did miss the other one. Whatever. Whoa. The take guns. Doing a lot of damage there. I guess the um, accuracy is calculated differently for each, or individually for each Pokemon, so whether I hit one or not is independent. Yeah, look at that, the health went down at the same time. That's cool. I haven't seen that before. And now he's eating his berries. Citrus berry is actually decent. It's 30 HP, I think. Archer level 28, sweet. He wants to learn to move acrobatics. Hell yes! I actually have, I have, I looked at the move sets of the Pokemon that I want to have in my final party, and acrobatics is the best flying type move that I could see that Archer learns, so we're taking it. Check it out. It does 55 damage. It nimbly strikes if the user is not holding an item. 
This attack inflicts massive damage. I don't know how that works, but I'm going to um, not hold an item <laughs> when, I'm, when I'm using it. Okay, um, agility falls to... It just raises your speed, right? I don't know. That's just such a waste. I don't know. Anyway, quick guard falls to quick guard. Poof! Or, oh, it should say poof, man. I got really used to the poof in previous generations. And it learned acrobatics. Sweet. Oh, another takedown. There goes Leopard. Aww, you suck, Sharon! <laughs> Out comes Pan Sage. How does Sharon always heal Pokemon just randomly? Like, he just has the ability to. Whoops, I shot an air, but it doesn't matter. And that's that. I think I should get all the experience for that Pokemon Toad. I don't think Pan Sage should get any. Oh, and he doesn't! Awesome! My Pokemon was so cute! Why did you beat me up, mister? Uh, they're also proud of their first battle. Nicely done! You didn't win, but that was a good battle! Your Pokémon looked like they were having fun, getting the shit beat out of them. Young man, if there are people like you who pursue strength, there are also people who are happy just being with Pokémon. These people we call losers. There are many different people with many different answers. No, well, only one answer is right. When it comes to what a champion should be, you and I may hold differing views, but so be it! Let's roll! This guy's boring the shit out of me! Sweet! Is that an ice cream truck over there? That's some kind of trailer. Sharon says. <laughs> I'm reading his name again! The champion is the strongest of the strong, that's all there is to it. See you later, dude. Alright, what the heck is this? Hello, are you selling food? Oh, no, you're gonna f what? Ah, that's not what I expected. I thought you would like sell me cookies or something. Muffins! <laughs> Baker Jen. Okay. She uses, I guess, all three monkeys. That's what I'm betting. Oh, what? Just because she has three Pokemon in her first one is Pans here. Yeah, she's Munchop. Well, I think Munchop will finish it off, and I don't need to risk Muddy Water missing. Just being silly. Is it a Pan Sage? No, it is. Apparently she has three Pan Sages. Oh, no, no, wait. That was a Pan Seer. Yeah, I was right. She does have all three monkeys. I should have switched out. Crap. Alright, up where it is. We're freaking out, man! Freaking out! Why didn't he use a Grass-type move? Or she use a Grass-type move? It was just dumb to go for Fury Swipes. I guess I'm using Fury Swipes in the next one, too. Oh, well, it's, or, um, Uproar on the next one as well, because I'm still stuck in the cycle. Oh, you your Pokémon. Oh, I didn't know I could switch while I was... Well, I mean, it was, I'm gonna leave it, so it's fine. <laughs> Panpour! It's got, a, like, a, like, a geyser on top of its head. Wow! Pimple didn't stand up to that very well. Much out it is, let's finish this battle. Kabam! It's nice at this point in the game to only have a few Pokemon that we're really, like, leveling a lot. So that I can <laughs> get them to higher levels. That was a tasty battle. Yes, thank you. Hello, you gonna fight me too? Hi, I'm a humble maid! My master has a big heart- You master? Are you a slave or a maid? Has a big heart to match his big belly. He's a gourmet! So I'm looking for ingredients that will make his heart jump for joy. Sniff, 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 sniff. Oh, that aroma! It smells so gourmet! Do you have a wonderful ingredient in your bag? Would you consider selling it to me? What the hell does she want me to sell to her? Maybe it's berries. What else do I have that she possibly want? None of these are even edible. I don't think. They're all sprays. I have no idea. Um... Uh... Let me get the scope lens. Hello. What's all I got back here? Miracle seed? I'm still under that. I have no idea. She must just want the berries. That's all I can think of. Um, how about... How about a Chesto berry? Oh, it smells so good that Chesto berry berries is a very rare ingredient indeed. Twenty dollars? No! What a rip! I'm out of here. It's worth way more than that. You kids want to fight me too? Dude is a hippie dude up here. Hum! <laughs> hum fiercely. That's my battle song. Wow. Sweet. I like this dude. Look at him. You're challenged by Musician Preston. I thought I was going to say Hippie Preston. He's even got torn torn jeans and guitar strings hanging off of his... Wow, that's awesome. He didn't trim his guitar strings. It's very hippie. I like it. He doesn't give a crap. Alright, I'm ground type, so I'm cool to be fighting against the pixel. Let's do the like, thing second. 
think about the types when they first come out. Wait, am I in a good position or should I switch? And then Blitzel, another Blitzel? It's kind of almost like the rock! That doesn't make any sense. Blitzel's not a rock type. I don't know, it seems like a Blitzel sort of reminds me of rock because the, like, the styling of the Pokemon reminds me of Gene Simmons' face paint. Gene Simmons, the basis for Kiss, you guys know, you know, you know, you, 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 yeah. I don't even, I'm not even going to tell you who Gene Simmons is, you all know who that is. And badly, you, I came to understand, you're the best. Take this. I got a guitar. Seriously? I don't even know how to play it. If you want your Pokemon to hold this electric guitar, go to the musical theater. No! Oh, hello, dancing person. Turn around, every- oh wait, different, wrong song, sorry. <clears throat> Oh, another break dancer. He didn't look like he was uh, break dancing. He looked like he was just spinning in circles. But whatever. Yeah, I don't know. At this rate, it looks like I'm gonna be over leveled for a while. But the the um, I don't seem to be moving fast enough that the Pokemon I'm running into are catching up to me. Even Archen is staying ahead because he started at level 25. I still can't believe that. He's a little crazy. Nope, I'm not gonna switch. Yeah, these trainers who have two of the same Pokemon it just seems a little silly. Like, who would do that? This doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess you'd strengthen your strengths, and maybe double battles would have some cool things you could do, but you're also making your weakening... You're weakening your weaknesses, essentially. You're making your party less versatile. Can I get up there? Is this truck in the way on purpose? Is that what's going on here? Ah, here we go. FIGHT ME! Just clearing out some trainers. This big bag. What do you think is inside? Um, I don't know. The remains of your dead husband. Back where Lois sent out Luna. Do, 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 do. Yeah, this this is Luna or whatever. This is one of the Pokemon I haven't really figured out unless we're gonna fight yet. I guess Muddy Water is what I got. I like the spray that comes up around the Pokemon. Like they're actually getting water flying past them and it's doing that sort of crazy move. So, you said imprisoned means so it makes it so I can't use any moves that Luna does. But I don't think that we would share any, so it doesn't really matter. And we got some more experience points. I lost, but now I have more things to add to my bag. What the heck? What did you pick up in that battle? Muddy water? We found a great ball! Sweet! Let's go over here. Wait, is this Route 5? This might be the area where you guys told me I could catch one of those in guys. As my mind roamed, as the wind blows, destiny has brought us to this battle. <laughs> Your drill is a drill that will pierce the heavens! Challenge my backpacker Michael. Oh, he's got a pop -a Oh man, it's a wiggle battle. I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> Man, they wiggled in perfect unison. That was amazing. Ah, oh, I love it. <laughs> that was that was so perfect. Um, I'm very pleased with the way this has turned out. Oh, he's still his pop goes still knows Aqua Ring. I've already forgotten mine. Probably because it restores so very little of your HP. And done. My Papa Toe was superior. We defeated Backpack on Micro. I didn't know I was flying against the wind. Derp. We gotta have more fighting spirit, man. We gotta revive. Sweet. I want to do this double double fights, grass. I want to get some double fights. <gasps> what is that thing? Ah, oh, it's a Solosis. You guys told me this would be a decent psychic type Pokemon to have on my team, but. I don't actually think I'm going to have a Psychic-type Pokemon on my team. Yeah, actually, now that I think about it, I don't have a Psychic-type. Because I have other types to do double to the types that Psychic does double to. Psychic does double to Poison. <gasps> it's a double battle! And my phone's ringing. It's a Solosis and a Minchino! Minchino. This is kind of fun. I want to go after the Minchino, so... Gosh, would one Muddy Water defeat them both? Ah, I don't know. Alright, I'm gonna do that, and I'm actually gonna throw a Pokeball first. 
right at. It's impossible to aim without being focused. Oh, I can't try and catch him until one of them's gone. Alright, well, I'm gonna have Archon attack the Solosis then. Well, wait a minute! That means I, if I get in a double battle, I can only catch one of the two Pokémon in that battle. That's kind of lame. Alright, Acrobatics on Solosis. Hopefully that Muddy Water won't just knock them both out, which I don't might. Oh, it, it, oh, it got a critical hit on the one I wanted to catch! Are you serious? Maybe I'll just catch the Solo- No, wait, Solosis is about to get knocked out by Archie. Yeah, okay, we're done here. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a nice double battle, I guess. Arkin got a level. Sweet. He's catching up to Palpitoad. How's that happening, anyway? Anyway, alright. Ah, another double battle. Maybe. Nope. Ah, it's a Leopard. Or a Leopard? I don't know how it's supposed to be said. Who knows, man? Who really knows these things? I'm not gonna fight it, though. I'm not interested in having one. Couldn't get away. What is it, faster than me? Oh, it used Pursuit. Dang. That sucks. She does a lot of damage, doesn't it? Couldn't get away? Yeah, it's still going for me. Man, don't torment me! Oh, this... this okay. He's gonna regret this. Whoops. Yup. Haha, -ha, you're... I'm running away! <laughs> I bet you regret this, don't you? Hello, old man. Hi, trainer. Let me turn you into a work of art. <laughs> Paint me like one of your French girls. Oh, he's a painter! Alright, he's an artist. Artist Horton. Ah, did he hear a who? Ooh, he uses one of the Pokemon. Sigilith. The depth of the Alright, um. Muddy Water it is. It avoided the attack! Yep. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> uh, I guess Muddy Water is decent. I don't know, I might switch it out for Surf later. In fact, I probably will, just, just so I have a Pokemon that knows Surf in my party all the time. And because it does the same damage as Muddy Water, but without the accuracy um, reduction, Surf hits 100% of the time. The thing is, Muddy Water makes up for it being less accurate by, I think, reducing having the chance to reduce speed or accuracy or something like that. But I don't really care about those buffs and debuffs. I basically never use them. I win basically by having the most powerful Pokémon and having a good strategy as far as super effective attacks is concerned. Alright, everybody's standing up there, so I'm gonna go back. We didn't get very far in this video, did we? We, we fought a lot of trainers, which is also good. I don't know how the dowsing machine works. It doesn't seem to be doing anything down there. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. I, I'd like to be getting the hidden items and... Yeah, no way, girl. Hidden items and stuff that are strewn along the ground somewhere, as I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time, where we will go about 20 feet farther than we did in this episode. See you then!